Welcome to CRM Crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining what are and how to use tickets in HubSpot CRM. So once you log into HubSpot CRM of course you'll come to the home screen. Now I'll quickly explain what tickets are. Essentially tickets is a means of managing any issues that you'd have with a customer or a product for your business. So let's say that uh, a customer has an issue with a particular product, you need to walk it through the ticket stages uh, in order to resolve that problem, whether that's giving them a refund or fixing the problem, etc. So in order to get over to tickets, we need to go to services or service up the top left here, using the drop down menu and then go to the tickets option. Now, as you can see here, tickets are essentially like sales or deals inside of the HubSpot system. We have stages to our tickets and we can move our tickets along these stages for our support, uh, our support pipeline. So it's really useful, really good means of tracking these issues and eventually getting them resolved. Um, so in order to create a new ticket, we need to go up to the top right hand corner here and press the create ticket button. Once we press that, uh, we then need to give our ticket a name. So obviously it's good to have a company policy where you'd name it in relation to the product um, and then potentially the user or maybe give it a unique reference number if applicable. Um, I'm gonna give this I'm gonna give this ticket a name test as just an example today. And then we can select the pipeline. So unfortunately I have the free version of HubSpot CRM, so I only get the one pipeline. However, if you have the paid version, you can add multiple pipelines. And having multiple pipelines might be really, really useful if you've got multiple products um, and you can have solutions to fix those, those multiple products and they might be different solutions for each product. So you'd have a pipeline that is molded to one product and then another pipeline that is molded to the, to the other. So it ensures that you're going through the correct stages. So that is a, a recommendation. However, I'm just gonna select the standard one. And then we can select the ticket status. So is this status new? Are we waiting on contact, waiting on us or closed? And again, that is applicable to the different stages for this particular um, pipeline. So of course, most tickets are gonna start as new. However, a couple of them may have jumped ahead. Um, it's entirely up to you. And then we can give a ticket description. So what is this ticket in relation to? What's the issue, for example? Um, and then we can assign a source. So where has this problem been recorded to us from? So we've got chat, email, form, or phone number. So let's say that a customer has called in via the phone um, and said that they've got a problem with their product and we're gonna create a ticket for it. So I'm gonna select phone, and then we can assign a ticket owner. So usually, or it's automatically gonna be set as yourself. However, you can assign someone else if you so wish. And then we can assign a priority for this particular ticket. So let's say it's an emergency. One of your top paying customers has got an issue with one of their one of their products. We select that as high. Whereas if it's a not so important or it's easy fix, for example, we'll select that as low. So I'm select high in this particular instance. And then we can assign a create date for our ticket. So let's say the ticket essentially was created the week before. However, it's only being recorded now. We can select that or we can just select, which I would recommend, creating the ticket on the day that it crops up um, and selecting that particular date. Now, another really useful feature is we can associate tickets with our companies and contacts. So if we'd like to associate a ticket with a company, so this is a company that is recording the issue, we can do so. We just search which particular record that is. So I'm gonna use HubSpot as our example today and select that. And then we have this tick box option where we can add this particular active uh, this particular ticket to the activity timeline so anyone that goes onto the hubspot record can see that there's been a, a ticket issue it's quite a useful tool so you can click it and then again you can change it to when it is uh, when it can be seen from and to so last 30 days 60 days etc um, and then again you have the contact so i'm going to sign our friend brian um, and again, you have that option to add timeline activity as well. And now once you've created your ticket, just press the create button. And then as you can see, our new ticket has been created. And like any other form inside of the HubSpot CRM system, it looks identical to this. We can log notes, emails, calls, tasks, and meetings against this particular record or any ticket record. And then if we'd like to go back out, just go to the tickets up the top left here and press the back arrow. And then as you can see here, 
we have all our different stages and we can drag our drop and drag and drop each ticket into the different stages inside of our HubSpot CRM system to hopefully resolve any issues that our clients might be having. And that is how to create tickets and that is what is tickets inside of our HubSpot CRM system. I hope this video has clearly explained what are and how to use tickets in HubSpot CRM. If you do have any further questions, please drop me an email, my details in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.